Hashem, as a people, as a people come in, hallelujah, we welcome all of you from the north, south, east, and west tonight. It's going to be a deep prophetic um, teaching. How many say amen? Amen. Amen. How many say amen? Thank you for that person that's awake tonight. Hallelujah. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Tonight is the night that I'm going to put it this way. If you miss all the Zoom meetings in this whole year, but if you don't, if you're, if you don't miss tonight's meeting, it will, it, it's like, um, like it will make up for all the, the year that you miss. Plus God will give you more tonight. How many say amen? Amen. amen. It's going to be very powerful, very deep tonight. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gonna, uh, put the, the ways to give real quickly. These are the ways to give. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Those are the ways to give tonight. Hallelujah. And if you if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, we encourage you to subscribe and share with others and, and encourage others to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Those are the different uh, medias and ways that we're reaching um, the people around the world. How many say amen? Amen. You know, with one person that, that, that we can touch, it's all worth it. How many say amen? Amen. Amen. You know, are you here tonight, people of God? Are you Amen. here? Because I, Amen. I see you like you're wondering. Amen. I review every spirit of distraction. Father God, that tonight your people will be so focused that they'll receive and they will write and write everything that is being downloaded tonight in the spirit realm. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people in victory say, Amen. 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 The title of this teaching, prophetic teaching tonight, is the Chesvan Anointing. The Chesvan Anointing. I'm going to release three prophetic revelations on the Chesvan Anointing. How many say amen? Amen. Hello. Amen. Thank you for that person that is listening tonight. Hallelujah. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. October. <laughs> The month of October is a month where God releases his blessings for your harvest. That's why it's called harvest time, the harvest month. Uh, many call it the fall harvest. How many say amen? Amen. The enemy always tries to twist it for Halloween, and they call it the um, harvest festival. And nowadays, uh, a lot of Christian um, churches, they even try to, Hallelujah. Please do not talk or nothing. Just um, mute every person tonight. Yes, uh, evangelists, if there's um, distractions, please mute them out because tonight is a night um, that we got to be very sensitive to the Spirit of God. I'm about to release some revelations about the Shezvan anointing. How many say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Shezvan, it means. Shas, which is spelled C-H-A-S-H. -H. In Hebrew, the word Shas means to be quiet. Amen. To be still. That's why God says uh, in, in his word, you know, be still and know that he is your God. See, this is the, the season where you have to be still and know that God is your God, the signs of the God of signs, wonders, and miracles. How many say amen? amen? Amen. So people that are talking, they never listen. That's why God gave you only one mouth and two ears. He wants <laughs> you to listen more than to be talking more. How many say amen? Amen. amen. A lot of people have the spirit of, of Jimmy. What is the spirit of Jimmy? Oh, I'm, my name is Jimmy. Gimme, 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 gimme. Dame, <laughs> dame, dame. Instead, God, God is saying, I want you to listen to me because I'm about to release some instructions every day of your life in this season. And how are you going to know if you're always talking, 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 and you don't let God talk to you? Amen. I mean, know what I'm talking about. Amen. How many of you had, uh, if you have a relationship, uh, a spouse, or if you have a friendship, or 
even when you're having a conversation with somebody, you're you're talking, you know, you want to talk, and the person is just talking, 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 and it's like, you know what, I gotta interrupt this and 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 show this person I I I got something to say. How many have been in a situation like that? Yeah. That's the way God is with us. He wants to speak to us. We say, Cállate la boca. Be quiet. Be still. <laughs> because I want to talk to you in this eighth month. In Hebrew, in Hebrew, this is the eighth month. And the number eight means new beginnings. This is the month where you're going to have a new beginnings of God's harvest in your life, of God's blessing upon your life that every seed that you have sown in the past, it will be resurrected and it will be released to you in this month of October. How many say amen? Amen. I receive. Number one, you're going to receive prophetic encounters and you're going to receive prophetic instructions. How many say amen? Amen. 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 See, you're about to have experiences and encounters with God in this season like never before. We're fasting for 21 days, and let me tell you, I'm receiving a lot of re revelation. You know, I, I, I'm telling you, this this teaching was downloaded to me in the spirit realm last night. Amen. And, you know, I was asleep, but I was awake. I don't know if somebody's hearing tonight and know what I'm speaking. I was asleep, but my spirit, man, was awake. I can see myself out of myself in the spirit and writing everything in the spirit realm. Mm. So everything was being downloaded into, into my spirit. So when I woke up this morning, I already knew what I was going to teach. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say amen. Amen. So in Exodus chapter 20, I'm not going to read it, but in Exodus 20, it talks about when Moses receives the Ten Commandments. And Moses was in the presence of the Almighty God. He had an encounter with God. And when he, whenever you have an encounter with God, God is going to give you and reveal to you some prophetic instructions. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. And, and, and that's what, what God did. You know, he revealed the Ten Commandments to Moses. Mm. Yes. See, a lot of people say, um, I don't know what 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 to do um in my life. Read the Ten Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> Many people do not honor thy father and thy mother, including their spiritual fathers and mothers. But you know what? I don't know why I'm going to say this. It's going to help somebody tonight. You might say, oh, my God. My mom, is. she's tremendous. She's tremendous. I cannot change her. And you're right. You cannot change her. But God can change her. But God's instruction is we have to honor our mother and thy, and thy father. Amen. I mean, amen. amen. We got to love them. We got to bless them. You know, the way they are, hey, that's between them and God. But you, us, as children, we have to honor thy father and thy mother. I don't know why I got into that. Hallelujah. Yes. But see, God is going to about to give you prophetic instructions, prophetic insights, and you're going to encounter God at, a, at another level where you know that you know that what exactly you got to do and what exactly you're not supposed to do. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I have a prophetic word for somebody. God is saying, you've been in that place too long. The Lord saying, I'm about to move you to a place that you never have encountered before. And in that place, you will grow in three months and 90 days what you... Well, what you will learn, what you needed to learn in three years, you will only learn it in three months, thus says the Lord. Give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, neighbor, 
Your neighbor, neighbor big surprise. Neighbor, you're in for a big, big surprise. surprise. How many love surprises? I love surprises. All Especially the good ones. I don't like the bad ones. Sometimes there's some surprises like, ay, 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 que esta pasando? What is, it's, it's like all hell broke out loose. I don't like those kind of surprises. Mm -hmm. But Either. if you have an encounter with God, if you have experiences with God daily, he will give you prophetic instruction. He will tell you, hey, tomorrow, watch out because the devil's going to attack this way. Prepare yourself. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Sometimes yes. God will even show you. He will reveal to you in a dream, you know, something that's gonna uh that it that happened, and that's just a warning so you can be alert so when it happens, you won't be surprised. But God wants you to do something about it. But what you know what God wants you to do is be quiet and be still and know that He's fighting your battles. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Number two. You're going to receive your prophetic harvest in this month, in this season. Psalms 85, verse 12. Psalms 85, verse 12. Hallelujah. Mm. Psalms 85, verse 12. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good. And our land shall yield her increase. God is saying in this season, I'm about to blow your mind like never before. I'm about to give the abundance of rain. I'm about to increase your capacity. How many say amen? Amen. amen. I'm about to gather the fruits of your labor. God is about to gather everything that you have labored, everything that you have worked for. Now God is gathering all the blessings and he's going to release it unto you in this month of October. Say October. 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 Is a month of my harvest. It's a month it's of my month. harvest. Say, I will reap the abundance of blessings. I will, I will reap the abundance of blessings. The God is saying, I'm your provider and I'm going to bring provision. In the word provision, it means pro. The first part, pro, means he's going to provide for you for the vision. Provision, providing for the vision. See, if God gives you a vision, if God tells you you're going to preach, you're going to teach, well, he's going to provide everything. You don't have to worry how he's going to do it. You just got to believe that what he said, it's already a done deal in Jesus' name. How many say amen? Amen. You can give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, neighbor, I receive it in Jesus' name. Maybe I receive it in Jesus' name. Jesus. You know, a lot of people today got, got deceived by the enemy, you know, and used other people to distract them from this blessing. God told me that. But God says the ones are, that are here and the ones that are going to, the ones that are going to see it in the YouTube channel, they will be blessed in abundance. How many say amen? Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. God is saying, you're going to be well stabilized in your economy. Even though, even though the gas prices are going up, even though the food prices are going up and everything's going up, God is saying to you and me tonight, people of God, my children, I'm the same God that provided back then. I'm the same God that pro is providing for you today. And I will be the same God that will put gas in your automobile in the future. Amen. 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 Say, don't worry, be happy. Don't, don't worry, worry, be happy. happy. Don't worry, be happy. How many remember <laughs> that? Worry, be happy. Yes. Even back then, the Lord was speaking to us, but we didn't pick it up. <laughs> How many say amen? Amen. You know what we <laughs> thought? Oh, man, we're going to be happy. Let's get loaded. Let's get this party. Let's do this and that. No, the Lord is saying, be quiet, be still, and know that I have everything under control. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that person that said amen. 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 Hallelujah. Number three, this is the last one, and there's a lot of revelation in this one. God's saying, you're going to receive the chest bond anointing. You're going to receive the chest bond anointing. You know, before, 
in the Old Testament, the shepherds back then, they used to anoint the sheep. They used to anoint the sheep's wool, all the wool, but they would put a lot of oil uh, on the head. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because when they don't have oil, the insects, the lice, they fall into the wool, into the one part of the of the body, and then they creep up to the head. And once they're in the head, they get in the ear, and when they get in the ear, they kill them instantly. Wow. Well, this is a revelation, people of God, that God was showing me today when I was in prayer. He told me that's the way the enemy is. If you give him a, a little opportunity just to cling on you, he's going to move up to your head. What are you mm -hmm. talking about, prophet of God? I'm, uh, I'm glad that you asked. He is going to put a lot of negative thoughts and ideas in your mind. Oh, my God. It's not going to. Uh, I'm not going to make it no more. How I'm going to do with the gas prices. Oh, this barely happened. Oh. And once he gets to your head, he gets in your ears. And I said to the Lord, Lord, isn't it supposed to be the ears and then the head? He goes, you're not seeing it in the spirit realm. See, when you when he gets to your head, then he gets inside your ears. You cannot hear the word of God. Mm. A lot of people, the enemy has closed their ears. Yes. And they accept religion. They accept tradition. They accept cults. They accept negativity. They accept evil things. And that's why they are the way they are. How many say amen? Amen. Say, neighbor, you're in for a big surprise. Neighbor, you're in for a big surprise. You're receiving the Chesvan anointing tonight. I received the Chesvan anointing. Anointing tonight. Say hallelujah. 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 So when the the shepherds used to um uh anoint the, the sheep, you know, in in their head and all in their wool, is so the insects and the lice will not and the bugs they will not cling on. You know why? Because when they would try to cling on, or Ramaya la Ramakanda, they would just slip away. They will fall. See, yes. you gotta be full of the anointing of God of this Chesban anointing. No. I'm gonna give you a revelation that God gave me years back. You know, remember the scripture where Jesus no. was near a cliff and all the people surrounded him what were they trying to do to jesus they were trying to push him on the cliff yes to kill him there's people that wants to push you over the cliff <laughs> but if you're anointed with the oil the bible says that they were all around him to kill them to push him and G the bible says that jesus just slipped away and they didn't even know where he was at See, that's what the anointing does. When they try to grab you, say you're all full of oil and they try to grab you, they're just going to slip away and fall. Amen. Amen. May every enemy, may every attack against your destiny slip away and fall in Jesus' name. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. What's going to fall away? I'll tell you what's going to fall away. What's going to slip away from your life? Depression, anxiety, insomnia, stress, sicknesses, diseases. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Attack on your finances, attack on your family, attacks, attacks on your calling. You know, once the enemy knows and he hears your calling, all hell is going to break out loose. Yes. Amen. You know, <laughs> when when they told me, um, you know what? How come you don't call yourself a prophet? You're a prophet, no? I just call myself pastor and evangelist. I did not want to accept. And one day, 
the Holy Spirit visited me and told me, why do you deny the position that I put you? Well, Lord, my pastor says that it's better not to say this because I'm going to receive all attacks and this and that. And it's better just to keep low, but to for God just to use me and manifest with his, with, with his power and this and that. And, and, and the Holy Spirit said, no, you're denying me because I called you and I sent you as a prophet to the nations. After that, that encounter, um, a group of prophets from Santa Maria called me and they said, you know what, we're going to ordain you. And I told my pastor um, if it was okay. And he said, yes, that's what that's what you are. That's what you are. And, and so uh, I went to Santa Maria. They got the swords. Oh, my God. It was such a tremendous ceremony that I will never forget. And then in in every in every state, a prophet will always ordain me with the swords. Then from there, I went to Phoenix, no, Tucson, Arizona. And they did the same thing. Now, to, in Tucson, Arizona, that, that prophet, he, through God, he changed my whole life and my whole mentality of things. Amen. Uh, Amen. <laughs> he said, you know what's what's wrong with you, prophet? You're like a beggar. You beg people to come. Don't beg people. Do not throw your pearls to the swines. Oh. You have a lot of dynamite power, a lot of dynamite blessings. If they want it, they'll receive it from you. They don't, you don't have to beg for them to come. And also, that's your mentality. Also, is your vocabulary. You just preach like if you're preaching to a, a couple of people. You got to preach to the thousands. You got to prophesy when you preach that you're preaching to the thousands. And you got to visualize that you're preaching to the thousands. Amen. And you know what? <laughs> from there, God started opening me television, and radio to preach to the thousands. Wow. Amen. Amen. Hmm. See, this, the Shizman anointing, God told me you're receiving it tonight, and he's going to release his prophetic blessings. And these prophetic blessings is his protection. He's always going to protect you. How many say amen? Amen. And he's going to give you amen. an increase of his power, of his authority. Amen. amen. When, when he gives you the power and authority, it's so you can have dominion in everything that you do. Amen. God gave Papa Lo about that we got to have dominion over territories and over atmospheres. I was telling my my, my spiritual son to, today, I told him, you know what? You got to change the atmosphere. If your house is full of demons, you got to um, change the atmosphere through the Shezban anointing, through the Amen. power, through the authority. The thing yes. is... You're not using that power. You're not using that authority. You're not using the prophetic word of God. You're scared of the demons that are in the atmosphere. But you know what? You got to pay a price. The anointing has a price. How many say amen? amen? Amen. Everything in life has a price. You know, um, my friend Bino, his wife, Karen, God blessed him with a fan. It has a price. They had to sacrifice. How many say amen? Amen. Later on, I want to have her share her testimony if, if, if God permits it. How many say amen? Amen. And tonight we have a powerful testimony. I prophesied to this woman of God. I told her, You know what? I see that you're going to have another child. Oh, but my husband doesn't want one. Well, God says, you're going to get pregnant in this year, and next year you're going to have a baby. <laughs> She's going to mm -hmm. give her testimony yeah. to tonight, too. How many say amen? Amen. 
See, a true prophet of God, everything that you say comes to pass. Amen. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Uh, I, I don't miss. Like Papa Lo says, I don't miss. <laughs> I've learned I learned to be very sensitive to the voice of God and to see. How many say amen? amen it's true. Hey, Lord, amen. give me eyes to see. Lord, give, give me, me eyes, eyes to see. see. And give me ears to hear. Give me ears, give me ears, to, ears to, hear. to hear. God says you're going to receive all kinds of blessings in, 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 in every area in your life. God told me to tell you he's going to give you creative ideas. And one Amen. of the ideas is how to make money. Amen. Amen. God says he's going to give you a prophetic grace <clears throat> to do Amen. what you couldn't do before. Amen. I'm going to say that again. God's going to give you a prophetic grace in this month that this grace is so you can do the things that you could not do before. Now you're going to do them. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Say hallelujah. 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 What was happening, there was a lot of blessings that were on hold, but now they're going to be released in this month. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Look what Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 says. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't say come begging. It doesn't say come crying. It says come boldly unto the throne of grace. Unto the throne of God. That we may obtain what? Mercy. Mercy. And find grace to help in time of need. So this prophetic grace is going to help you in everything that you need. Amen. Nobody said anything. Amen. Amen. See, you, but you got to come to the throne of God, to the throne of grace, and you come boldly, believing that what you're asking, you have received it in Jesus' name. How Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 Was it true? Yeah. Was it? <laughs> you know, God is a God of humor too, okay? Amen. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Every, you know, when I came to God, everybody was trying to, you know, hang around with religious folks, traditional folks. They wanted to me to dress a certain way, talk a certain way. I said I wasn't made like this. <laughs> I may know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Say, you are you and I am me and I'm unique and special to God. Yes. yes. Many people are trying to put you the armor of Saul when God say, no, I gave you a sling child. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You'll get it later. <laughs> <laughs> this chestnut not anointing will meet every need in this month and the months to come. Amen. And you will receive anything. Anything. You will receive anything. Whatever you need to do the work of God or to, to meet your needs, God is going to give it to you. How many say amen? Amen. This anointing is going to activate the talents, the gifts that are stuck inside of you. Amen. Amen. We're going to be resurrected tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. How many amen. say amen? amen? Amen. Hallelujah. This anointing, God has commissioned you and I to a new authority. That you're going to decree a thing and it's already going to be established. It's going to be done. How many say amen? Amen. amen. In other words, God says this anointing you're about to do supernatural things that you never have done. Amen. Amen. And you're about to receive supernatural blessings that you never have received in your entire life. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. 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 God say this anointing is for all of you tonight in Jesus' name. And amen, amen. Let's go, amen. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 10, verse 24. Isaiah 10, 24. Hallelujah. Therefore, Thus says the Lord, God of hosts, God is speaking. O my people that dwell in Zion, be not afraid 
of the Assyrians. God is saying, don't be afraid of the devil. Don't be afraid of your enemies. He shall smite thee with a rod and shall lift up his staff against thee after, after, the, after the manner of Egypt. You're coming out tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I say you're coming out in whatever it is, depression, anxiety, fear, whatever it is. Amen, prophet. Amen. Lack, lack of love, lack of wisdom, lack in the finances, you're coming out. Amen. Amen. Some, somebody tonight, the Lord said, there's somebody tonight decree this that they're lacking joy, and the Lord says He's going to give them abundance of joy because mm -hmm. you know what? The enemy used people to shut your your laughter, and laughter is medicine to your bones. That's why you're feeling all depressed, and you're feeling ramakanda. You're feeling way out of this world, and God says tonight you're coming out, and I'm going to fill you. And increase your laughter more mm -hmm. than before. How many say amen? Amen. 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 God says you're about to. <laughs> 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 you're about to receive a <laughs> anointing. Amen. I receive that. <laughs> hey, sometimes, you know, when you're all depressed, you got to force yourself to be happy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to even sing uh, the Barney song. <laughs> I love you. You love me. <laughs> Say, neighbor, force yourself to be happy, and God will never force yourself to be happy. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Say, that today is that day. Today is that day. Okay. See, you have to prophesy what the word of God is, and that's power in your in your declarations. That his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulders. All your heavy loads are coming off and they're slipping oh. away in Jesus' name. Amen. And his yoke from off thy neck. See, the enemy has had a strong hold on you, but today is going to be loosened through this anointing how many say amen? amen amen and the yoke shall be destroyed because of what the of prophet Reuben? no the anointing. No. because of the anointing amen amen is the chest on anointing that god is talking about in this month of october so we're about to make some declarations tonight i want you to repeat after me making these prophetic declarations how many say amen Amen. Amen. One, two, three. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. That I am I'm receiving this chest bond anointing tonight. Yeah. That I'm receiving the chest bond anointing tonight. That I'm receiving, getting back into position to receive tonight. That I'm receiving, getting back into position tonight. I decree that I am blessed a hundred percent. I decree that I am blessed hundred percent. That I'm protected by God. That I'm protected, protected by God. God. And I have dominion over everything. And, and I, I have dominion, dominion over everything. everything. I have dominion over territories. I have dominion over territories. I have dominion over atmospheres. I have dominion over atmospheres. And I have dominion over the devil and his evil spirits and demons in Jesus' name. I have dominion over the devil and his evil spirits and evil spirits in Jesus' name. Tonight, I decree and declare. Tonight, I decree and declare that I'm anointed. That I'm anointed and I'm appointed by God and not by man. You gotta know, people of God, is God that has chosen you, it's not man. Amen. It's Amen. God that has anointed you, not man. Amen. It's Amen. God that has appointed you. Not man. How many say Amen? Amen. 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 Let's go to Psalms 20, verse 4, and we're gonna finish with these two scriptures. Psalms 20, verse 4. I want you to repeat after me. Lord, 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 Lord 
Grandpa. Grandpa. According to Grandpa. Like, according. According. Grandpa. 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 No, no, we're going to start all over. I want you to repeat me, all of me. you together, in one accord, in one spirit, in one mouth. Okay. Lord, 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 grant thee, grant grant thee. thee. According, to thy heart. According, according to thy heart, according to thy heart, and fulfill all thy counsel. And fulfill all thy counsel. See, you know what you just decree? God, meet all my needs. According to the desire of my heart. How many say amen? Amen. amen. And, and put the scripture back on, please. Yes, Papa. And fulfill everything in my life and in my destiny. Amen. <laughs> amen. amen. Philippians 4.19. With this we finish. But my God shall supply all your needs. See, my God, my God, I'm telling you that my God is gonna supply all your needs. Maybe Amen, you need to maybe you need to to connect with my God tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you that my God, this is the apostle Paul speaking to the people. My God will supply all your needs. Why did Apostle Paul say? Because God will always supply his needs, because he had encounters, he had prophetic instructions from God. How many say amen? amen? Amen. According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Say that. According. 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 Like I said it before, there's a bank in heaven and it has a name. Right here, there's Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo, all those. <laughs> but in heaven, it's called the glory bank. See, all his riches are in the glory bank by Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Many, many, Karen wants to um, withdraw money from the glory bank, but they never make a deposit. Wow. They get blessed. They get blessed by God. See how it got quiet there, Jose? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they, 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 they get blessed by, by a tremendous word, a tremendous teaching, but they never sow into the kingdom. They never sow in the glory bank. Yeah. How many say amen? Amen. 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 So this is a time of sharing. I want, I have a tremendous testimony. I want it to be recorded um, all the way from Ohio. Chardrow, if you can um, share with us the testimony of what was going on and what happened. Hallelujah. Hi. I have to um, step outside because my husband doesn't even know yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord, close his ears right now. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's only been, I think, like 12 hours since I found out. But um, I looked back at the date and uh, you prophesied August 15th that... Um, I was ready to have a third and I was like nope we, we're good we're having two and I was like I have this deep feeling I'm gonna have one but I kept rebuking it you know like no no I'm not I'm not and uh for a few months actually before you said anything and then all of a sudden you came out of nowhere and you're like hey you ready to have a third and I was like uh oh god <laughs> And uh, wow. don't get me. I mean, I'm I'm excited. I, I took a test this morning. It was positive. Um, wow. Amen. Take more tomorrow. <laughs> look, at, look, look at their jealousy. Look at their jealousy. <laughs> praise God. So yeah, yeah. Praise God. It's uh, I'm super excited. And uh, we weren't trying at all. So um, <laughs> it's definitely uh, it's definitely all God. So. Mm. See. Yeah. When the prophet of God made a decree, those words went into the womb. Yep. And it prepared the womb with a sperm to get that connection. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I'm having a baby. It's powerful, prophet. <laughs> Never thought I'd have a third, but hey, God has a plan, right? Hey, so. you, you want me to go a little bit deeper? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, I can show you to me right now. You're going to see. You want me to go deeper, Chadron? 
Huh? Check this out. Are you hearing me? Uh, Can you hear me? Yeah. Charge round? Yeah. Yep. God told me to tell you, well, he just opened my eyes and I saw this. He said, tell her that today's the third day of the 23rd year and she's having a third baby next year. Wow. I didn't even think of that. Today's 10 Three twenty-three. Yeah. Wow. That's the powerful. three, the third one. On the third day when you found out the pregnancy test. Yeah. Oh my God. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Say Jesus. Tonight, I want you to sow. God gave me certain amounts of a number of seeds. And one of it is ten dollars and ten cents for the tenth month. And the other one is a hundred dollars and ten cents. <laughs> And the other one is 23, and the other one is 33, and the other one is 8 for new beginnings because this is the eighth month in the Hebrew month. How many say amen? amen? Amen. And the other one is 88 and 128. And I circle, I really want, I, I want to, let me see. Can you guys see those numbers there or not? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I, I did that just so you can know that I'm not making this up. <laughs> and and um I circled the 88. God said a lot of people are gonna sow 188 and 88, and and and, and that's gonna be a double new beginnings. Some people need a double new beginnings. Amen. So this, Amen. this is a way to give on the screen. It is by Zal Cash App. Um Walmart to Walmart, <laughs> or you can send a check or money order. So let me pray for your seed. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come together in one accord, one spirit, and one mind. We come in agreement, believing you are the God of signs, wonders, and miracles. You are the God that supplies all our needs according to your riches and glory. And Father God, that through this special seed, Father God, it will turn their destiny with an increase of multiplication in all areas in their lives, Lord. That everything that was dead and impossible will be resurrected tonight. Today is the third day. On the third day, you, Lord Jesus, arose from the dead. I prophesy that everything that looks dead and impossible will be resurrected tonight because of this Cheshvan anointing, Lord God. And Father God, meet every need that your people tonight, they go boldly unto the throne of grace and find mercy and that everything that they need, they'll receive it by grace. Father, I decree that your people are highly favored. And Father, I decree and I declare as your prophet, as your servant tonight, that they will have a deep rest a deep sleep like never before. Oh. I decree rest in every storm of your life. The Lord says, be still, be quiet, and know that I am your God. In amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's give a drop off into the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, Hallelujah. Luke 18, 27. The word of God says that everything is possible Possible. for God. God bless you. I love you. Thank you, Prophet. We love you today. Amen. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you guys all for being here tonight.